everybody, this is the Bowtie Boss here for Fight Combat Sports News. This part's gangster. I love this movie. Bloodsport is one of the best fight movies of all time. Um, no more. You can't listen to me talk about it. Just watch it. Put it on Netflix, put it on Nouveau, wherever you're going to see it, catch it. Uh, what I'm going to be re uh, recapping here is Fox Sports 1, uh, Victor Ortiz versus Louis Colazzo. Louis Colazzo is another one of those hard luck Puerto Rican dudes from the East Coast, almost like a Gabe Rosado, and he's fighting Victor Ortiz, whose last notable win was... Who knows? I mean, his last notable win was winning the lottery to get to fight Floyd Mayweather. Uh, Louis Colazzo, on the other hand, is coming off a decent win last year on, on uh, NBC Sports, and this is a tough fight for both guys. You know, Victor Ortiz, while he is mentally weak, He's a really good fighter. Uh, I mean, he just quits. He mentally quits. He mentally quit against Maidana. He mentally quit against Mayweather. He mentally quit against uh, Lopez. I'm surprised that he got as aggressive against Berto as he did. And I don't think if he would have not hurt Berto in that first round, I don't think he would have gone on to do as much as he did in that fight. That said, I don't know that Louis Colazzo at this point in his career has what it takes to beat a Victor Ortiz. However, I am going to pick Louis Colazzo by split decision. I mean, uh, this one, this pick is out there. Uh, my challenge is still out there to you guys. Just Victor Ortiz, just he's just not a fighter to me, man. And I, I really see him finding a way out of this fight. He's talking a lot. He says, I'm the one who made Maidana. Actually, Maidana made himself by punching his hands into your chin repeatedly until you couldn't get up anymore. You didn't want to go on anymore. Again, Louis Colazzo, split decision, maybe some kind of controversy in there as well. Very close fight, and I actually think it's going to be a, a really entertaining fight, even though it's a Victor Ortiz scrap. Coming up on, um, was it, HBO, Showtime, who knows? There's no TV for this next fight. I'm talking about Gennady Golovkin against Asumano Adama. HBO said, I'm not putting that shit on TV, and for good reason. Who is Adama? I mean, he's a... Um, I know him, he's, he's fought in Chicago a handful of times, but against who, and who has he beaten, I don't even know, I'm going to have to sit here on Box Rec and YouTube for you know the next 24 hours to be able to piece together exactly how good he is. I do know how good he isn't, he isn't good enough to beat Gennady Golovkin. Nobody at middleweight is, and that's why he can't get a fight that HBO put on. I mean, look at the middleweight top 10. There's nobody in there that Gennady Golovkin can fight and have a tough time against. Sergio Martinez is the only name worth even mentioning, and I guarantee you Sergio Martinez would retire and cut his hand off before getting in the ring with Gennady Golovkin. Now, what I want to see Golovkin do after he knocks out Adama in the fifth or sixth round is move up in weight to 168 where he needs to be. He won't be this massive presence anymore. I'm not sold on him being the second coming either. I think that he gets hit easily, he gets hit cleanly, Curtis Stevens had his hands on him often enough, and I think that these guys at super middleweight are going to give him some major issues, especially when he hits them with all he's got, and they're not going anywhere. I'd love to see him in there with a Carl Frotch or even an Arthur Abraham. Come on, guys. Tell me you wouldn't want to see Triple G and Arthur Abraham, two of the hardest hitting guys in boxing, going head to head. Abraham is well past it, and this is a kind of fight that I guarantee you can get made, and HBO would absolutely love it. They need these young, early career champions to fight those aging guys, those old lions on their last leg, looking for that last win. And Arthur Abraham does not quit until that final bell, and he's going to be throwing everything. If he catches Triple G, we might have a different thing. Now, I don't think he could beat Triple G, but that fight's out there. Carl Frotch would be a beautiful fight as well. And obviously, the fight we're all talking about, let's be real, Andre Ward, Gennady Golovkin. I just hope that Andre Ward is still at 168 when this fight comes to pass. Again, this is a Bowtie Boss here for Fight Combat Sports News.